<laughs> so, okay, so you look at this kindly woman and say, please mentor me, and what happens? She was like, I'll see you this week. Wow. And I'm like, great. She's like, want to come over Tuesday? And I said, sure, I'm there. So I show up, and um, how much detail do you want, Matt? I mean, you, I, I'm loving this. You are not boring me or anybody. I know sometimes when you've told your own story over and over again, sometimes you wonder. But no, this is, I'm really interested. Well, I show up at the Women's Catholic Center again for this, you know, mentorship meeting <laughs> with this, you know, Catholic numerary. And and a numerary, by the way, for those who don't know, is they've, um, they've basically promised to be celibate in order to serve. It's a, they have a calling to the celibate life in order to be a better of service to other um, people of faith and help, you know, share the good news of Christ's love and help form people, you know, them formation, things like that. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I get there and, um, I'm wearing workout clothes. Mm -hmm. So I was definitely like the college student, like with the, you know, I don't know about if you've ever had a yoga pants debate on your show, but no, I'm like, yet. let's, let's initiate one. Go. <laughs> I'm wearing cut off yoga pants right. and like tank top. So definitely not dressed, you know, very properly. Like I was the Opus Day ladies. Not the other ladies. We show up, and she's like, "What would you like? What would you? What does mentorship mean to you?" Did you and have I'm, a Did you have a Starbucks frappuccino in hand? That's what I need to know. Um, no, but I would just sure complete the picture. A donut or something. I was I was definitely snacking on something. So okay. I show up in my like ripped workout clothes, yep. and I'm just sitting in the like you know little sitting area, and she's saying like, "What does mentorship mean to you?" And I'm like, "I want to be I want to be holy." I was like, "I want to wow. be a good woman. I want to be." She's like, "Well, what is a good woman to you?" I said, "Well, it's like my." My own mother is a good woman. Mary is a good woman. I mean, after my experience with the Orthodox Church, Mary was just, she wowed me. I didn't really understand her, but I was like, she's the most beautiful, the most perfect, the most loving woman in the world. You know, she was Jesus's mother, God's mm. mother, and she's special. Like, I want to learn more about her. But growing up Protestant, we never really talked about Mary, right? That was like a big hole in our, mm. the only time we talked about Mary was at Christmas time when they would sing, Mary, did you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, did you know? And it's like, Mary, did you know? You totally knew. The angel <laughs> told you that Jesus was, you know, your son and this was, you know, the savior. Anyways, but I wanted to learn. I wanted to be like Mary. So I told this woman that and she said, you really want to be like, you know, your mother and Mary. And so she was asking me, what do you love? What do you like about those women? And then I said, I just, I just want to be, you know, I just want to grow. And then she said to me, do you, do you, do you want, do you mind if I'm a straight shooter? And I was like, <laughs> Sure, of course. Like, yeah, she's like, you, is it okay if I just... First, kind of, you know. yoga pants aren't pants. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, no. Matt, you're right there. You should be an open state lady because <laughs> she literally said to me, she's like, you sure you want me to be a straight shooter? And I was like, yes. And she's like, are you sure? I don't want you to be offended. I said, I won't be offended. She's like, you know, first step to being this woman you want to be, you really shouldn't dress like that. Yeah. And I was like... Wow. I'm like man. looking down. I'm like wearing these like bike shorts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. Like, I mean, wow. if I'm going to the gym, maybe, but like sure. I'm going to class, I'm going to a meeting at with the Day. I was like, God and I was bless like, I was, like your yeah. humility. I was like, I was like, you're right. You know, this is and I, I it was starting and keep in mind at this time, I'm starting live action. I'm starting to do international travel for pro life. I'm like, mm. I'm starting to like go meet with Congress members. So I'm doing all this like oh. intense work personally. And so I knew that it required a lot of me and I knew that it, you know, my faith was the most important thing and I needed to act like it, but I didn't know what that really looked like. And so that first bit of advice of like, okay, act the part. I mean, look the part, be the part. Like what, what would mother Mary do? Like would mm. she <laughs> show up, you know, with, to a meeting and, you know, ripped up yoga pants, like in a, in a, you know, torn tank top, mm. probably not, you know? Um, and so that began a series of meetings with this woman where we looked at my whole life. We looked at my virtue. We looked at my habits. We looked at my own, even my own wounds. I mean, some stuff that I had to work out in therapy separately, but my own sort of personal things like wounds from childhood. And we just started going through and doing work on mm. making a plan to improve. And then at the same time, you know, she said, well, what do you think about the Catholic faith? And I said, everything I've learned about it, I like. I have some questions, like I'm not sure about praying to the saints. I still don't really get like the mass. I don't really know about like Mary as someone you can like, you know, the rosary. So like I I begun to learn about these things, but I didn't really understand them. And I knew that if I was going to, you know, say yes or no to them, I needed to first know, say what I was, know what I was saying yes or no to. Mm. So 
that began me doing more study of church fathers and doctors, Thomas Aquinas, like reading what he would say about these things. And then I would meet weekly with this Opus Dei priest that was just brilliant. I mean, he wow. understood the church's teaching so well. He had worked with people of all faith backgrounds and no faith backgrounds. And we would just go topic by topic. Like, what was my question of the day? What was the thing that didn't make sense to me or the thing that I didn't think was maybe right? And we would just talk through it. He would teach me about it, the scripture base for it, the tradition base for it. And, you know, before before long, you can imagine, it was like the puzzle started coming into focus. Like the piece, many of the mm -hmm. pieces were already there, Matt, like from my childhood, from study had already done, from meeting people, but the more pieces started, be, were put down and then the whole thing started to come into focus. And I was like, this is what I've been looking for my whole life. You know, this meaning... Jesus in the Eucharist, like getting to like getting to actually receive my Lord. I I, I wanted him bodily. I mean, I think that's mm. one of the things as a Protestant, like we have praise and worship, we have sacred scripture, but there's no sort of um, incarnate experience of the faith, right? Mm. So there's no like, you know, um, anointing with oils in confirmation. Mm -hmm. There's no, sometimes there's not even baptism. I mean, but like immersion baptism, like really, a baptism, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, there's no Eucharist. Like, this is really God that you, Jesus says to receive him. And if you don't receive me, you know, you're not, you're not in me. You need to receive my body, my, my flesh and blood. You need to chew my flesh and blood mm. as, you know, St. John, St. John writes in John 6. And, you know, this like very tangible physical experience of faith where it doesn't depend on my emotions. It doesn't depend on like how I'm feeling that day. It doesn't depend on, you know, what's going on, you know, the hardships or the, 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 the doubts I have, but these are real physical facts of, of God in front of me that I can actually receive into me in God himself in the Eucharist learning about that. And, you know, I was already primed to believe it. And I was just, you know, full on excited, like I want to be Catholic now. And so within another year and a half after beginning those meetings with that, um, <clears throat> that wonderful woman, I would enter the Catholic church. Wow. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.